Welcome everybody to the start of season two of Friar Insider. My name is Nick Rojas and joined alongside me today is a senior defenseman from the women's soccer team, Hannah Ware. Hannah, how you doing today? Average. Same here. But, but no, you would spend, it's a great day. You guys been practicing, having fun? Everything going well? Mm-hmm, for the most part. All right, that's good to hear. All right, so the team had a successful season last year. You guys make a deep run in the playoffs. You do graduate 12 seniors. One of them is returning. So how is the team preparing for this upcoming season? Um, I think we're just pretty motivated coming back from last year, um, getting that far, and then kind of losing, obviously, is something that's motivating us. Um, when you get that far, you really don't want to have that feeling again. So we're definitely just keeping that in the back of our head at every training session and every game. And our scrimmage yesterday, we're just thinking about what we can do to get better and get to that point and just make sure we're doing enough so that we can get to that point and obviously go further. But we're, everyone's motivated. It's good. Yeah, it's the losses that really stick with you yeah. and motivate you mm -hmm. certainly more as an Absolutely. athlete. So you're heading into your senior season here, as I mentioned before. Crazy. Time flies. Mm -hmm. um, but this is going to be your first season playing at Chappie Field at Anderson Stadium, which I'm sure is exciting mm -hmm. for you. So how does it feel to be uh, playing in a big time home stadium? It's awesome. It's awesome. He keeps, uh, Coach keeps talking about how obviously we're so lucky and especially because this is one of the biggest stadiums on the East Coast. Um, it's just an awesome atmosphere, uh, especially in the spring when it's not even our actual like season. We had a ton of people even showing up on the grass that says like this is Friartown, whatever. Um, but it's so cool because it's such an awesome atmosphere that you can fill all sides. And coming from someone who actually played on like Glayfield, I don't even know if you saw that. I've seen some old. Uh, yeah, it's a little it, bit before my tough. time. It was tough. Yeah, but it's so cool because just every year we've gotten to be it a better atmosphere and I think this year's just gonna top it all off. So, yeah, so what you played a little bit at Glay Field there? Oh yeah. So you've come a long way, huh? Oh yeah. We believe we're down at Glay and then the new Ray Tracy. Yeah. Which was obviously it's nice. Yeah, it was nice. But then like this is like a legit soccer yeah. stadium. It's kinda like uh remember in like do you ever play backyard soccer? The, the, the video computer game? game? Yeah. I remember Pablo. That's like the only thing I remember. Pablo was great. But I remember in like the game, it's like you'd play on like these little fields or whatever, then you go up to like better fields in the playoffs. No, that's what it's like. Yeah, that's what it's like for your senior yeah. year. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's like, yeah, so it's pretty nice. But anyway, tangent aside here. Yeah. Uh, so you're from Westchester, New York, a great area there north of the city. Your brothers, big time athletes like yourself. So when you think of your time growing up the way you did, what do you think of? I mean, I don't want to say anything like bad, but it's just like having two older brothers who motivated me and they pushed me a lot, even still do. And they're both so different. It's just really funny to be like the youngest and have two older brothers who just have pushed me around, obviously, my entire life. But they have really gotten on me to make sure that I'm pursuing my dreams um, because they obviously, their time has been done and they finished their careers. But I really give a lot of credit for everything that they've done for me and especially getting ready for every season that I've had, they've been really motivating. Right. It's awesome. And, and outside that too, you had, you told me you had like, what, like 11 cousins? Yeah. Or something like 10. 10 cousins. Oh, including you? Ten, 11, 11 including me. Oh, okay, right. We got, make sure we get the math correct on that one. So that must have been great to just have all yeah. those people. And now they must be all pulling for you now. Yeah. No, they've, and, and whenever I have games at home or close to home, there's a huge crowd and even my mom's siblings everyone's just always been there and it's just been a part of our family for the past 28 years everyone's just had each other's backs so it's awesome yeah it's so nice so when we were talking earlier we heard you had an interesting summer you've been to a lot of mm -hmm. cool places certainly cooler places than i've been so what were some of the highlights uh, since school ended in may oh man um as i told you i was in california last week or two weeks ago oh my gosh um, two weeks ago for my cousin's wedding, which was awesome. I love being out there. Um, and then I went to the Copa America final, which was awesome. I can't imagine. Yeah, that was awesome. I don't, obviously, it's pretty bad, but I don't watch a lot of soccer. But like watching Messi in person and just watching the different, like, Argentina and yeah. Chile. It's just crazy to see that that's like obviously all that they live for and especially with Messi. It was just, it was a cra crazy atmosphere, oh, but it was awesome. Oh yeah, I can't imagine. And that, that, if I remember correctly, that was a pretty good game too, right? Oh yeah, they went to penalty kicks. Oh yeah. Oh. That's fantastic. Unbelievable, you Messi missed. Yeah, and then he retired, right? I know. Yeah, he, he hung him up after that. Yeah, he's like, you know what? I'm all good. I'm out. So now it's time to move on to the game portion, which we have on every Friar Insider. Uh, we've heard that you're a big Justin Bieber fan. Oh, How many no. concerts have you been to? 
11? 11 concerts. 11 Justin Bieber concerts. I don't think I've been to 11 concerts in my life. So we're going to play a game. It's going to be guess a song to see how big of a fan oh, you are. God. Are you okay. ready? Okay. First one. <laughs> Hopefully this goes well. Your glass slippers in my hand right here will make it before the clock strikes nine. Which song is that? Oh my God. Rawat. I'm sorry. I, I knew you were a big fan, so I, I had to dig deep here. I'll give you a hint. It's off my world. It's not baby. Is it favorite girl? That is incorrect. It is first dance to, oh, from geez. 2009. Yeah. That song is about like a, what, a high school dance? <laughs> He's matured so much. He has. He, really, he has. He has. Anyway, next song. Through the storm and through the clouds, bumps on the road and upside down now. From 2012. <laughs> Is it down to earth? Uh, Lonely girl. Do you have one more guess? This is this is off. Um, what's his second? What's his album that he came out in 2012 with? Was it Believe or Purpose? What was the one that Purpose. came? Purpose. Purpose came out last year, right? So this is off Believe. The song is called Be All Right from 2012. Dude, you, you all right? Give me like one I can work with here. All right, ready? Baby, baby, oh. Oh, the baby. I'm like, kidding. I didn't put that oh. on there. <laughs> Sorry, Hannah. All right, ready? This one's off his most recent album. Oh, fuck. That's a fresh concert. Okay. It's like you're stuck on a treadmill running in the same place. That's all you got for me? Yep. I'll give you a hint. The, the title of the song is four words. I'm so... The lyric you gave me is four words. All right, there you go. Yeah, I know. It's life is worth living. Oh. So you went 0 for 3, which I'm not going to lie. I'm, I feel like I, I stumped the master of Bieber, and that makes me feel a little bit good here. Because I've only become a Bieber fan since, like, f early 2015. Okay. How, how would you feel like you, how'd you rate your performance? That here? was pitiful. That was pitiful. I, I went deep cuts, though. I went to, like, I pur purposely picked songs that didn't have Wikipedia articles. I, oh. So you know if it doesn't have a I Wikipedia. I also want to just point out that you gave me a lyric that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words. That's right. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, Hannah and the women's soccer team have their first regular season game against Boston College Friday, August 19th at 7 p.m. right here at Anderson Stadium. Hannah, thanks for coming on and good luck this season. Thank Seriously. you. Appreciate you coming on. That wraps up today's show. We'll see you next time on Friar Insider.